everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. Welcome back to our 2021 Fiberflux Summer Crochet Along. We are busy making the projects for our summer spa getaway. This is a collection of some beautiful spa projects that all coordinate and are all beautiful using some lovely cotton yarn. We're going to be making some cloths, some headbands, this poof that we're going to be making today, all kinds of fun things. I will put the link down in case you didn't catch the beginning of our Cal uh, to learn more about uh, some of the projects and some of the supplies. We are going to be talking about supplies for this particular project today in just a minute. But today we're going to be making this lovely spa poof. Now this is done in just three rounds and we're going to be putting a lot of stitches so it like smushes it all together and it makes this pretty little uh, accessory that you can use in um, with your spa products and collection. This is also a lovely item to include with a spa product if you want to gift someone something like that as well. We're going to learn how to make the poof itself, how to finish it up, and then add a little hanging loop as well. Now, I'm going to be using the same three colors, this cream, the purple, and we also have an aqua. So at the end, all of the projects that we're going to make as a part of our collection all coordinate together and look cute. This is a super simple project. It's just some simple half double crochets and chains. And the finish it's about width is about uh, three inches wide. It's like a mini poof size. And then our hanging loop is about two inches high off of the poof. So let's get started. One more thing I forgot to mention, if you haven't joined our Ravelry group or our Facebook group, be sure and hop over and join those. It's a place where you can hang out with other cowl makers. You can share photos, you can ask questions and show off your work as well. So I'll put the links down below for that. For this project, you'll need a tapestry needle, a tape measure or ruler will be helpful if you'd like a specific size or you want your loop to be a specific length. You'll need a pair of scissors. We're going to be using a five millimeter H crochet hook. This is my Furls Odyssey. I'll put the link down below if you'd like to get one for yourself. And for our yarn, we're going to be using a yarn called 24 seven cotton by Lion Brand yarn. Now in the, um, week one of our cow, I did talk about the supplies and I, I mentioned this yarn as well. For today's project, I am going to make the main part of our mini poof in the ecru color. And then I'm going to make our lovely little hanging loop in this purpley lilac color. Now, if you use more than one ball of this, um, just know that it does come in dye lots. Um, and each ball of this is 186 yards, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 170 meters. Now I did want to point out as a side note that for our entire cow, for every project of our spa collection, we are going to be using the 5 millimeter H crochet hook. However, this yarn recommends a 4 millimeter G crochet hook. I did that on purpose. I went up a hook size to give us uh, some nice drape and hopefully open up the stitches so when all this stuff gets wet in the spa area that you can hang it up to dry a little bit more easily because the stitches will be a little bit more opened up. So again, we're going to make the main part of the poof with this ecru and we're just going to use a little bit of this yarn for the hanging loop. If you want to do it all the same color, please feel free to do that. We're going to be using this same 24 seven yarn for all of our projects in our spa cowl. So if you have leftovers, just save it for the next project. All right, so let's get started. We're going to start with the main poof first and then later on we'll add the loop. Okay. So I'm just going to slip this label off. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab our yarn and to make it a little bit easier for you to see, I did put a dark background down. Okay. So this is super easy, very simple stitches. What we're going to do to begin is put, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see some of the stitches I'll be doing. We're going to put a slip knot on our hook to begin. Wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop, bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your hook, bring up the loop and tighten. Next, we're going to chain six. So to make a chain, wrap the yarn around the hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So here's our starting chain. Next, what we're going to do is to create a ring and we're going to work some stitches into our ring. Go down to the very end, the chain farthest from your hook, that first one we made, and we're going to work a slip stitch. Insert the hook into that chain, bring up a loop, now bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. And now we have our little ring that we're going to work into. If you prefer the magic ring, please feel free to do that instead. Okay, so here is our ring. 
So for round one, what we're gonna do is chain two, one, two, and then we're gonna work 30 half double crochets into the center of the ring. So obviously we're gonna put a lot of stitches into this ring and what's gonna happen is it's gonna smoosh together and create those fun uh, twists and turns that you see at the poof to make it a round ball, basically. All right, so to make a double crochet, wrap the yarn around the hook, insert it into the center of the ring and bring up a loop. You'll have three loops on the hook. Wrap the yarn around the hook and bring it through all three loops. And that's the half double crochet. So that was one and then two, three, four, five, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So as you can see, I'm going slow here because we have a lot of stitches here. So that's 30 half double crochets. Now I also held that tail along the edges we worked so I can just easily snip it later. Now, also one more thing, as you're working your stitches, like I mentioned before, it'll get really crowded. So as you work, you can kind of push things out of the way, okay? Now we're at the end of the round and we're going to just join with a slip stitch to close the round. So insert the hook into that second chain up where you began, bring up a loop, and then bring that loop through the loop that's already on your hook, okay? So round one is complete. So for round two, what we're gonna do is before we start, I'm gonna give this a tug, just gentle. This is not gonna show, it'll be hidden inside the middle of your ball. So if there is a little bit of an opening, that's okay, you have a lot of stitches here. Um, it'll be hard to kind of completely close it and you won't see it anyway. So I'm just gonna give that a little snip. And then what we're gonna do for round two is start working into these stitches. Now you can tell my circle here is a little bit um, wavy already, and that's a good thing. Putting all these stitches in here is gonna give us those nice little waves in our work. So to begin round two, I'm gonna chain three. One, two, three. So once you've made your starting chain, what you're gonna do is in that first stitch of, that you see of the round here, you're gonna work four half double crochets. So one, two, and it might be a little snug, but that's kind of uh, what we're after here. Three, and four, okay? So we're gonna do that in each stitch all the way around our circle. So hop over to the next stitch, and we're gonna do the same thing, four half double crochets. One, two, three, and four, okay? So just do that in every stitch all the way around the circle, and then we'll rejoin and we'll work round three. Round three is our final round. So this is, uh, there's a lot of stitches in here that we're smushing in, but it's only done in three rounds. So continue around and we'll rejoin in just a minute. All right, so we've continued all the way around and I'm just gonna work that very last stitch, work our four half double crochets. One, two, three, and four. It gets really snug, but that's what we want. All right, and then we're going to join in the second chain up to close the round, or the third chain up rather, excuse me, third chain up to close the round with a slip stitch. And round two is complete. So before we continue to round three, I'll just move my hook for a second, let's look at what we have here, because it looks really, really neat. We have some wavy zigzags and and when we do our third and final round it's going to kind of like smush in on itself and start to make our poof shape we can already see that it's starting to do that okay all right so for round three what we're going to do is just the same thing that we did before we're just going to add another round on there and let me grab my hook let's put our hook back in 
So what we want to do once again is chain three. So one, two, three, and then locate that first stitch right there. And we're going to put four half double crochets in each stitch all the way around. So let's do that first one together. One. And again, it might be a little tight and fiddly, but that'll give us that maximum poof look. Okay, that was two, three, and four. Okay, so do that in every stitch all the way around. And then once we get towards the end of this round, it's going to get a little bigger and a little poofier, if you will. And we're going to uh, work to the all the way to the end. And then when we rejoin, we'll finish up the round. And then we'll move on to grabbing our purple and do a nice little hanging loop on there. Okay, just working that last half double crochet of the round. And then we're going to join count three chains up, join with a slip stitch to close the round. Just like that, okay? The last thing we're going to do is, before we do our hanging loop, is we're going to take our scissors, cut the yarn, and then wrap the yarn around the hook and bring it through, okay? So, we snipped our tail earlier. We snipped that tail out of the middle. You can sort of see it. But we have one more tail to take care of. But before we move on, I just want to show you how awesome this looks. It, because of all these stitches we did, it made this really, really pretty. I think it looks like a carnation or something like that. Um, but we have this lovely spa poof. So the last thing we need to do before we move on to the hanging loop, and I still have some purple threaded here from another project, um, is thread our tapestry needle. And then we're just going to go back into those stitches here to just weave it in. If you go towards the middle, um, it'll disappear a little bit better because the middle is what is hidden. So just kind of go towards the middle with your tail. And I'm just going to pop it out this way and pull it through. And then you might have to dig a little bit to get to it. And when you go dig around with your scissors down here, just make sure you don't snip any of your stitches because it will come apart if you cut your stitches like that. All right, I'm just going to shape it up a little bit. And our poof is complete. I love the mini size. It's really fun. Okay, let's put a hanging loop on this so that when you use it, you can hang it up to dry. Now, I really love this off-white with this pretty purple color. Um, obviously any color you like. If you like the same color for the loop, uh, feel free to do that as well. Grab your hook, same size, and we're going to make a chain, just a long chain. So wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop, bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your hook, bring up the loop, and tighten. So for a hanging loop, all we're going to do is chain 20. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So that's all. If you want something longer, you can make more chains. All right, so then you're going to just cut your yarn, leave a little bit of a tail, and then wrap the yarn around the hook and fasten off, bring it through the loop. And then what we're gonna do is attach it. Okay, we're gonna go right through the middle here, that center ring where we first started, and bring it through. But then what we wanna do is we don't wanna go around it because it's gonna kinda hang funny. So what we wanna do is just go right outside of that center. Now I'm gonna pull this back so you can see it. But just go right outside that ring just see how I'm going right next to there and go back in with your chain and then pull it through. Make sure you don't get all these little loops in there. Okay, grab your two tails once you kind of pull those through. Just be nice and um, do it nice and slow so that you don't distort any of your beautiful stitches. And then just tie it right up to the point where your knots are, where your chains began and ended. And then this part that we're tying right now is going to be hidden. So just put a couple more strong knots on there just so it doesn't come apart. And when you hang it up, it's nice and strong. And then we're going to cut this because we're going to spin this around and hide it. So we're just going to trim those tails back. It's okay. 
And then what you can do is spin that around. So now, as you can see, the knot is on the inside, okay? Now take your loop and kind of pull it up to the top. And then what you want to do, see how I'm like twisting and kind of, you don't want it to look uniform. You want it to look like a little poof and, and then you can kind of shape it up. And then you have a lovely little loop on there and it looks so cute and pretty. So that is how you crochet the mini spa poof as part of our summer spa getaway. So stay tuned and uh, we will have a new project each week uh, for the next couple of weeks and we will add to our collection of fun spa projects. Also, if you haven't joined yet, be sure and hop over to our Ravelry group and our Facebook group to get all the latest updates, see what everyone's doing. You can ask questions. There's some really um, fabulous people in there that are super helpful and kind, and um, it's a really fun place to hang out if you're doing any of the cows with us. So that is how you make the poof. Stay tuned next week. We're going to make another fun project to add to our collection. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again. Bye.